Hi everyone, in this lecture I'm going to give you a demo of working with dynamic arrays. So let's see how we can create one array and also we can delete it. So we have int main and suppose I take input a value n and I want to create a dynamic array of size n. So I will write int star array equals new int and here I can give size n and then you can also do initialization maybe using a loop or something i less than equal to i less than n i plus plus and you can say array of i equals i let's say and maybe we want to print these values as well i can just see out array of i so let's uh, build this code and try to run it so we have dynamic arrays demo so maybe I want to have an array of 10 elements and you can see this is how we can create an array of 10 elements. Now suppose uh, at this point my work is done. I want to free up this memory. So I can delete this array and I can say okay let's uh, delete this array and that's it. So this memory will get freed. So at this point uh, before coming to return 0 what happened is we have a array variable in main we have a dynamic array in heap so this is heap memory so when we come to this line so by this line we have already deleted this part of the memory but this variable will st still store the address of this array so let's say this value is 204 so this array uh, this will still persist in the memory okay because it is in the static memory Okay, so it is the memory of the main function and main function is not yet over. Okay, the main function is over when this block is finished. So if, even if I do C out ARR here, I will still get the address of that particular array. Okay, so let me show it to you. So if I say 10 elements, so you can see this is the address of the array and this address would be same as this one. okay I, I am just going to trying to clear the concepts okay so when you delete a array so the static address doesn't get deleted until the function call is over or the scope of variable is uh, if it is there then it will not get destroyed but the dynamic memory will definitely get destroyed so if I give 10 here so you can see these two addresses are same but maybe let us try to print what is there at array of 2 maybe see out array of 2 okay now let's see what what happens in this case so although we are still getting to or uh, we are still getting to but there is a possibility that uh, so what happened is in this case so we had a heap at a particular memory location we added a 2 we put a 2 here and we had a pointer to this memory now when we uh, use the delete command this array got destroyed but that doesn't mean the data which is present here may or may not have the same value okay so data that is present at this look uh, data present at the address it may get overwritten by some other uh, some other data or the old data may persist or you may might get segmentation fault as well okay so this behavior is not predictable so ideally we should not do this so this is not recommended because we have deleted the array so i hope uh, this short demo about 1d arrays is clear and in the next lecture i will give you an example of how we can create 2d dynamic arrays okay so let's see